Governor Reeves has already issued a state of emergency. It was 15 years ago this week that Hurricane Katrina made landfall and devastated the region. I'm sure everybody still remembers. 12 News' is Alex Love is in Gulfport this morning. What people have been doing there to get ready. Alex, what are things looking like right now? Well, Candace, still no sign of rain yet in Harrison County, but the winds are steadily picking up. You can't see the stars or a sunrise showing that there are gray skies hovering over us. We expect the first wave of showers here over the Gulfport area by 7 a.m. Already, school districts in the area have been closed for the, for the day when it comes to in-person classes, including Long Beach School District, Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College, William Carey University, Pearl River Community College, and Hancock County School District. You can see a full list of those Closures on our website, WJTV.com. Storm shelters are also set up in Kiln, Mississippi, and at the First Methodist Church of Columbia. No pets are allowed, and you must bring your own bedding and wear a mask. Still, locals I talked to are taking their chances with Marco and waiting it out at home. Marco, we plan on staying here. We're hoping that that will be just a tropical storm. But that Laura frightens us a little bit. So we might go north, try to head up towards Hattiesburg, Hattiesburg Way. We filled up our car. Got sandbags in place for any water. Uh, the windows have been sealed. And we're just going to, everything's been taken out of the yard and trash cans put up. No. We expect to hear from Harrison County Emergency Management later today to give us important updates on how you can keep yourself and property safe. We'll also be heading towards the Bay St. Louis area as Marco begins to make landfall, and we'll see how locals are bracing for its impact there. Until then, live in Gulfport, Alex Love, 12 News.